Stewart from OnlineChessLessons.net, and I'm going to be looking at a game from 1985. I believe this was in Hilversum between John Timmon and Gary Kasparov. So Timmon opens up with E4, and Kasparov is playing. Um, this is the Spanish game, the the Roy Lopez here with Bishop B5, and so with Knight F6. This is pretty much mainline stuff. You know, both sides are playing for the center. White's trying to get the big pawns with C3 and D4. And black is just trying to create some type of dynamic counterplay, hopefully, when the position opens up. So with d6, uh, maybe not the most aggressive move, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, most of the lines transpose, but one option is if castles, if c3, black can play the martial attack with d5. So sacking this pawn. And uh, it's a pretty interesting attack, bishop d6, you know, the queen's coming. Anyway, the marshal is pretty cool. So d6, that's not really possible anymore. So um, castles, and now h3, so no bishop g4, uh, funny business after d4. So bishop b7, a h3, sometimes the knight gets maneuvered. A h3 is just a, a pretty useful move in this, this opening. So now d4, white's getting the center, but black is completed development. And now here, maybe Timon... Um, it's kind of, you know, maybe he's like, do you want to draw? Or, or maybe he's just repeating moves just to gain a little bit of time on the clock and, and until he figures out exactly what he wants to do. So here he plays knight d2. And now with a3, he's preparing to retreat the bishop and play b4 to gain some more space. So h6, now, you know, knight g5 is no longer an option. And the bishop's going to c2 to reinforce the center. So that after b4, so now with this maneuver, knight b8 to d7, you usually see that in the briar variation. I, I think this is kind of like a hybrid, like the, the it's kind of a hy hybrid between the Smyslov and the Zaitsev uh, briar variation. Um, anyway, so now bishop b2, and here Kasparov played g6, I think also possible with c5. It's a real mess in the middle of the board uh, maybe he didn't, maybe this is why they passed D pawn, although it's not that strong. Um, anyway, I mean, it's tough to say here. This is such a, a complicated position. So instead, G6, just trying to reroute the bishop. And Timon lashes out with C4 here. And so now black, you know, this wall of pawns is not very weak at all either. You know, it's got a lot of, a lot of pieces supporting it. And they're really kind of pointing at black's king. So seems like the resulting complication starts with an exchange. Now Timmin with, with the intermediate moves, very precise here, taking on b5. So after knight takes, this is not a good structure for black. After c6, he's got to shut out his own bishop. It's, no, it's biting on its own pawn. Um, this, this diagonal, you know, black's bishop hasn't made it there yet. So that's going to take a move. And in the meantime, Timon playing very energetically with a4. So now he, he's you know immediately trying to take advantage. Black's pieces are a little bit you know lacking coordination right now, so he wants to break it open. And with bishop takes, very actively creating threats. So queen b6, and I mean it's not like it's that bad. I mean it's kind of a dynamically balanced position, but um, you know white's pieces are just kind of getting there first. They're a little bit more coordinated. So knight c2, and you know, black after queen b6, you know, force knight c2. But now, now white, um, after queen c7, I mean, maybe he's, he's thinking some knight c4 stuff going after this pawn. So Kasparov plays queen c7 so that he can play bishop g7 next. So it's kind of safeguarding against the tactic. And now just bishop b3. So... The position is it's kind of cleared up, the big mess in the center. White's bishops are extremely well placed. Um, and, and black's pawns, you know, not so well placed. Kind of in the way of his bishops. So Kasparov tries to get out of that with bishop a6. And he's got some ideas of, of hopping a knight into d3, which would be a very good square for it. So Timon rook c1, and he starts lining up this x-ray on black's queen here. Maybe some tactics on the c6 pawn. And now with knight e3, he's thinking about you know getting the knight to d5 where it's going to be very strong. The tactics are really going to open up white's position. 
So bishop b5, so Kasparov, he's, he's trying to defend, and, and moving the bishop to b5 here um, also opens up the rook on the a5. The problem is, after knight d5, it, it's just all these tactics seem to favor white. You know, his pieces are just more naturally placed. So after knight d5, now another, you know, attended move. He's got to take the bishop here. And the resulting position after knight e5, I mean, it's very complicated. Knight e5, so now Kasparov, he's, he's achieved the bit, the, you know, the knight's going to get to d3. But white has got a lot of pressure. So he starts with knight e4. And uh, in studying Timmins games, I've noticed he always comes up with the weirdest combinations. You know, most people wouldn't even think of. And that's what he's gearing towards. So knight e4, now we're going to see black's king is a little bit exposed. So knight d3, and it looks like, you know, at first glance, black's winning an exchange. White will have compensation, but it seems like black's winning an exchange. But now it's not so simple. So queen d2, trying to get the queen to this diagonal. And now Kasparov played um, rook a3 here. So I, I think if he plays, if he takes this rook, um, I mean, it's definitely not easy, you know, but even just rook takes. And these tactics are, are not going anywhere. I mean, maybe you throw in the check first. And just every tactic in the, in the position is working for white. So what a crazy, you know, Kasparov is, or, or Timmin really is just nuts. So Kasparov tries rook a3, trying to activate his last piece, put a little pressure, maybe reinforce the knight here. But the problem is Timmin is just too precise. So he starts with knight f6, which is a pretty good move. Um, it's not bad. <laughs> so, so knight f6, pretty crazy. So in the game, Kasparov played rook takes. He didn't really have an option. I mean, white's just threatening to take and win black's queen. So he played rook takes, and after rook takes, the same threads, 98's still sitting there. So he's he's kind of got to take it. There's really no other way. And if he doesn't, you know, whatever happens also, the queen's going to be coming in after the check if he moves, if black moves his queen. So takes, and now really nice, accurate play by Timon with f4. Just an interesting line after this. Let's say h4. I think it goes something like that. <laughs> um, so that's what Kasparov was dealing with here. If he tried to, if he tried to make a run for it, it wasn't going to work. So instead, he plays knight e5 and f4. So Kasparov still, I mean, the guy is fighting like crazy. You know, he's been defending a worse position. He's been trying to go blow for blow with the tactics. But his king has ended up in the middle of nowhere. So he tries bishop a4 to try to get the piece back. Uh, or, or at least put a bunch of pressure on white. Timon takes, and now d6. Excellent move. You know, if he had played something like rook b1, I mean, now, I mean, the material is equal here. So, so white's just going to get his piece back. But instead, I mean, much stronger. He plays d6. Nice shot to open up the bishop. And now it's pretty much all over. So queen f3. And now after rook d1, Kasparov is still pulling out tricks. The guy's got jokes. He plays rook a1. Just fighting it to the end. So rook a1, what a nice move. And if takes. And uh, here, I mean, you know, it's not pretty. But black is up a pawn. He's got a pawn to give away. And maybe he can, uh, maybe Kasparov can talk his way into a draw from this. Timmons too good, though. After rook a1, he comes up with a spectacular, not too crazy, but queen f6 is a pretty nice move. And uh, here Kasparov resigned. He's, he's just going to lose the queen. So what a cool game by Timmon. Just beating, you know, putting the pressure on Kasparov, you, you don't see that too often. So a, a really nice, really nice game from, from the 80s by Timon versus Kasparov. So this is Will Stewart from OnlineChessLessons.net, and thanks for tuning in.